home. It means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. But have you ever thought about what your home is made of? Yeah, me either. Until I met this guy. If collectively we start taking climate change seriously and decide to make investments to do the right things for the climate, a lot of those right things are gonna be building in this way. Yeah. You know, it's, it's one of the easiest and most impactful ways there is to sort of intervene in the whole climate issue. Which got me thinking. You see, that is Chris Magwood, and he's not your average contractor. He's a sustainable builder slash educator, and they build all sorts of homes, out of straw bales, with earthen floors, and concrete insulation, all sorts of things I had no idea what they were, but suddenly make a lot of sense. So in this series, we're gonna talk to Chris about what he's working on, and what sustainable building is, and why we should care. But first things first, who is Chris, and how did he get into this? Stick with me. You'll find out. When it comes to being eco-friendly, it's hard to be perfect, but we can always be just a little bit greener. All right, so today we are here at the Endeavor Center in Peterborough. I'm with Chris Magwood, who is one of the founders of the Endeavor Center. The Endeavor Center is a sustainable building school, but tell me just a little bit more about it. What is the Endeavor Center and what goes on here? What goes on here? Sure, yeah. yeah. So we're a, we're a school and we run sort of two different kinds of programs. We run a, a couple of full-time programs, one in new construction and one in renovations where the class actually builds a whole building with us from start to finish. And so that sort of gives those people a chance to see all the aspects of, a, of an entire project. And then we run a lot of um, workshops, seminars, sort of shorter form classes on different types of materials, different ways to approach buildings, uh, the building code, designing your own house, those sorts of things. All sorts. Of, and I'm taking yeah. quite a few. So I mean, uh, I'm already- <laughs> Yes, a, you're a regular, yeah. yeah. Exactly, yeah, I'm basically, I'm in. So how did this all get started? How did you become a sustainable builder? And well, kind of accidentally. My family and I decided to build a house um, 25 years ago now. Um, and we're looking for ways to do that that would be more environmentally friendly than what we were seeing, but we didn't also really know what that meant. Kind of accidentally stumbled on straw bale construction first as a joke, uh, but then as something that we decided, no, this actually makes sense. We built that one house. That was all for was, yourself, for ourselves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's all that I was ever planning on building, except that once we did that, people just started showing up at that house and were really interested. And that led to being asked to teach some workshops that led to being asked to work on a house that led to, can you just do the whole house for me? And it sort of turned into a, a career fairly quickly from there. How long did you build straw bale houses for other people for then? Um, that was about 10 years, probably like in around 40 buildings around Ontario. Um, straw bale was our main material, but we did a lot of renewable energy stuff and started incorporating things you know, beyond straw bale. Like straw bale was sort of, people call it the gateway drug to sustainable building. You know, It's attractive and it's interesting and you get into it and then you realize, oh, I also have to think about floors and roofs and you know windows and all of these other things. Our house too was an off-grid home, so I was also like hands-on learning lots about what it means to live off-grid, what kind of systems to use. We had solar and wind and eventually micro-hydro, so I was getting lots of experience to then sort of transfer to the business in terms of, you know, these are things that I would and wouldn't do for other people now that I've done them for myself. Were you in the construction industry before? Nope, get, no. nope, nope. I was a freelance writer, uh, had worked in the publishing industry, built a crib for my daughter. That was my, my construction experience pre-building uh, the house. Uh. So to recap, 25 years ago, a writer builds a crib for his daughter and then decides, meh, let's just build an entire house out of straw. I love it, and I hope you did too. In part two, we'll talk more sustainable building and why you should care. So tippity tap that like button, hit subscribe if you're a greener like me, and we'll see you in part two. I'm not asking for perfection here, people. Let's just get a little bit better than yesterday. <laughs>